with the implementation of the Platt Amendment in 1902, there was a new and very important formal mechanism uh, for the exertion of U.S. power over Cuba. There were seven provisions um, within the Platt Amendment that, that provided sort of different uh, rationales or different, um, different kinds of events that would precipitate uh, another U.S. occupation of the island. Um, and interestingly, though, um, while this, you can see this as a, as a clear exertion of U.S. control over Cuba, Cubans and Cuban politicians recognized uh, that the Platt Amendment could be invoked for their own political purposes. And that, that's one thing that happened in 1905 when there was a liberal revolution um, because of a, um, what was seen as um, a illegitimate election. Then the, the president of, of Cuba, Estrada Palma, um, invokes the Platt Amendment and, and essentially forces the hand of the United States, uh, forcing the United States to come in and militarily occupy the country. Um, which they did between 1906 and 1909. There weren't other moments where Cuban elites uh, forced the hand in the same kind of way, um, forcing the United States to intervene on the island. Um, but the, the, that relationship that you see there, where, where um, you had this formal mechanism where the United States was able to exert its power and control over Cuban politics, um, Cubans were able to sometimes use that to their own advantage um, to either gain concessions from the United States or gain concessions from their own political class. So Cuban physicians, for example, used um, the health provision of the Platt Amendment to force their own government to pay greater attention um, to questions of public health and medicine during this period.